Part 4 of Beyond Dreaming by Jean Hart, a guide to awakening consciousness through the path of astral projection and out-of-body experiences. Suppose you're experiencing changes occurring, which you never made any plans on doing on an egoic level. In that case, you can be fairly confident that they are most likely happening for good reason and as part of your spiritual growth. Those reasons can only be discovered and understood when we make the effort of looking within. Decisions and intent made by the egoic parts of ourselves can often be unsure, fickle, and uninformed, leading to undesirable situations and a blurrier way of life. Whereas intentions made by a deeper part of us, our consciousness, our being, is usually aligned with our best interest, leading to happiness and clarity. The same goes for astral projection. We need to follow our gut and heart instead of our head. Even scientific studies have proven that there are central neurons in the heart and gut. The heart actually sends more signals to the brain than the brain sends in return. Thus, spiritual knowledge is held in our cells and DNA, not in some imagined idealistic worldviews. It is also important to point out that there is no need to over-scrutinize anything in this book to the point where it makes you suffer or doubt life even more. Astral projection is nothing short of life-affirming, especially in comparison to purely materialistic perspectives. Astral projection is about going beyond all perspectives to find a closer version of the ultimate truth to reality. Naturally, through experiencing it, one's perspectives will start to lean towards less materialistic values. When seemingly realizing certain truths, I've known some people who have become depressed, including myself in my early days on this path, such as the thought that your entire life is all but a dream, or perhaps in some out-of-body experience, you discover some reality about your ego that you don't like. The truth is rarely what we think it will be, but what is the better way to live? to carry on living in delusion, or to be honest and recognize the truth when we discover it. Let me please firmly state that this book's primary purpose is for the awakening of consciousness. That is to say, for you to wake up and realize the many truths of reality within every moment of your life, and to understand every aspect of your existence in your waking life, as well as when you're asleep. Let me stress that the expansion of higher consciousness is a sublime and transcendental experience that emanates from the core of reality and the core of our being. It is enlightening, awe-inspiring, and changes how you perceive and experience life, the way we always should, full and overflowing with joy, wisdom, and unconditional love for all that is. Specific subjects in this book will be more challenging for me to back up rationally. If you have a strong disposition against the reality of other dimensions existing beyond the physical plane, then perhaps this guide on how to experience them directly is not for you. However, be mindful that I welcome believers and skeptics alike to try what I know is natural for every living being. I sincerely hope that out-of-body travel will be taught and practiced in schools one day, or at least on how to access and explore similar states of consciousness. So keep an open mind. Ultimately, the universe is essentially a pure mystery, this mystery wherein lies the heart of its intelligence. How infinitely intelligent must the universe be to create the human mind with its vastness and power? which has a hold of our collective and individual lives so intensely. The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. He to whom the emotion is a stranger, who can no longer pause to wander and stand, wrapped in awe, is as good as dead. His eyes are closed. Albert Einstein Throughout the book, My use of quotes isn't to convince you of certain aspects through the credibility of notable people of the past, but to elaborate on what I'm endeavoring to transmit. 
It has always been a great challenge for any author to accurately describe spiritual dimensions that exist beyond time, space, and conventional wisdom. Spoken human language is all but a vain attempt to describe the indescribable. The mind is continuously labeling and assuming every process, but OBEs have little to do with this intellect. In reality, it is as easy as walking, breathing, or learning to ride a bike. When learning to ride a bike, should the child keep asking their parents endless questions, or should they just get up and keep trying? The more questions the child asks, the more confused and overcomplicated they make the process. This is the state of mind of many today trying to learn the fine art of meditation and separating consciousness from the body. We cannot treat astral travel in the same way as treating it like a university degree, assigning every process with complicated concepts to dissect cerebrally. It has to be felt and experienced by your being. By being, I mean the feeling of being present in your core, as opposed to thinking. Thinking being phenomena that occurs separately to being. Being is the silent awareness that is essentially you. It does nothing, yet it is everything. It is the silent observer that always been in your life. Astral travel is a level of consciousness that is beyond logical reasoning, at least for now. I do believe scientific organizations will one day be able to study it with more accuracy. But in the meantime, modern science is far from such a feat. If I were to teach a class of children and a class of adults about how to come out of body, the children would most likely have double the adult success rate. Children are far less likely to be cut off from their being due to excessive thinking that adults usually adopt as we grow in modern society. One crucial factor that you will see me emphasize regularly is that conscious out-of-body experiences do not require thought. It is a way of being a level of consciousness free from attachment to physical sensory experience. Out-of-body experiences are as natural as learning how to breathe. It is instinctual, primal, and intrinsic to the very core of every person.